everyone for joining us uh, today. It is uh, Wednesday, May 17th, and we're at Peck School. And uh, first we're gonna uh, go around and introduce ourselves. I'm Alexeline Saldana. I go by Alex. I am the Family and Community Engagement Coordinator here at Peck, and also helping with the Holy Middle School as well. Um, I'm Gianna Fernandez, and I'm in eighth grade. Um, my name is Jose Sanchez, and I'm in six. My name is Nyleja, <coughs> and I'm in eighth grade. My name is Daniela Calderon. I'm in seventh grade. Um, well, tell us a little bit about Peck School, just for people who don't know. Um, so Peck uh, has been in Holyoke for many, many years. Um, it is a community school and where they service a lot of the youth in Holyoke community. Um, we do have uh, fourth through fifth, and we also have sixth through eighth uh, grade levels here. Um, Peck is going to be going into renovation uh, for the next school year and all of our students are transferring out to different schools from Sullivan, Metcalf, and STEM Academy. Um, our eighth graders have the opportunity to go to Holyoke High School and Holyoke High School Dean Campus. Um, how's everybody feeling about that? Mm -hmm. Just kind of go around, I know it's affecting staff and students. Um, anybody want to start off? I feel fine about it because, like, I mean, I'm not going to, like, Metcalf or whatever the schools are. I'm going to Dean next year, so I guess it won't be that bad because I've already been there before, so. Excellent. Where are you going to be going? I'm going to be going to STEM. Uh, I feel like it'll be different. A lot of new people making friends. That's good. And yourself? Nothing. I just... Uh, I don't know. I just like, I feel, I don't know. I don't know. You know, um, t first tell me where you're going. And, um, STEM Academy. And what grade are you, you going to be there? Six. Very good. How do you feel about, um, you're going to be meeting new teachers and there's some of your friends going to be going? Or? Half of my friends are going to be going, so. Okay. How do you feel about that? Fine. Better. So I won't be all alone there. Just making new friends and stuff. Um, I'm going to Dean, so I'm like, I'm fine. I'm not really affected by it. Very good. Awesome. And yourself? Um, as staff, um, it was very... It interrupted, uh, like, all the staff members here are a little bit anxious um, and a little worried, you know, especially when we just, like, this is my first year here. And we have built a great um, connection amongst our staff members, and to be able to be distribute um, only one year in, it's um, a little concerning in the aspect of make, making sure that we have um, the opportunity to continue to keep our values um, and our goals. But um, we our changes could be good. It's it's uh, starting to adjust and. Uh, Looking forward to um, working with the new staff that I am placed with. So I created a sunset barbecue uh, for the school of Peck, um, knowing that our school will be closing, and I wanted to do an end of the year um, celebration slash an opportunity for all the families, staff, and new buildings, um, the opportunity to meet their potential students for the following school year. Um, give them a smoother transition and kind of ease their worries and anxiety from meeting or at least get to meet the representatives like the principal um, and family coordinator or um, a staff member that they could familiarize themselves with so when they do arrive to their new potential schools they have uh, someone that they can identify um, and that's my hopes for our event that day um, I'm hoping that a lot of the schools will have dates for upcoming open houses, um, dates available for tours that will be done in their new schools, and um, any other questions that families and um, students might have for the new schools that they're going to be entering. Yeah, um, we're going to be having a, a food truck. Uh, we're going to be having a few raffles as well. And, uh, 
and other uh, community partners as well, like um, Enlace de Familia, Nueva Esperanza, Gear Up, uh, to name a few, and, um, and all our new schools as well. My name is Taniko Hines, I'm in fourth grade. Good, man. My name is Stephon from Freeze. I'm in fifth grade. Some great things about Perk is that some, most of the time you learn a lot of new things for different like people. And my one of, one of my favorite teachers, yeah, has to be one of my teachers named Miss Patel. She's very nice, polite. She lets us do a lot in our class. Excellent. And what about yourself? I like Peck because they have a lot of fun events, and my favorite teacher is Miss Perry because she's nice and she lets us sit anywhere we want in the classroom and do our work. I like Peck because it's a nice school, there's nice people, and nice staff. One of my favorite teachers is Miss Luciano, she's a very good teacher. Yourself? I kind of like Peck, I've been here a few years, so it's like. Um, I don't really have a favorite teacher. They're all, yeah, they're all pretty cool, chill. Hector and Maya, those are my two homeroom staff. They're pretty chill. Uh, my favorite teacher would have to be Miss Shirley, six. She's uh, one of like subs teachers. She's always there for a sub or if not, just my normal home teacher. My favorite teacher would have to be my math teacher, Mr. Bacha, Bachata, and he's really funny and like teaches me math. My best memory is just um, being able to build that relationship um, among the staff here. We have um, a diverse um, staff here um, from youthful staff to experienced staff members. Uh, members um, from different nationalities, different um, race, and um, and I love the the integration that we all culturally can put out there and be able to show and also share with our kids and our student body here at Peck. Um, and like we mentioned, we we culturally here at Peck we do fun Fridays. Um, we have Mr. Robles always with the speaker first thing that the kids arrive. In the morning, we have music blurring really loud, and we're dancing, we're being goofy. Um, we have a lot of different activities for the kids uh, from staff versus student basketball games, volleyball games. Recently, we just had like the soccer tournament with um, Mr. Tobar, and we just we like to enjoy um, ourselves and also being able to give the opportunity to the kids to feel motivated to want to come back, you know, um, and want to be in school and use that as a, some type of incentive for them to look forward towards. You guys know where your new schools are going? So what schools are you guys going to? I'm going to Lawrence next year. I've been fifth at that school since first grade. I'm going to STEM. This is my first time going there. Awesome. Very good. And what does anybody feel about going to a new school? Do you guys feel scared, worried, anxious, I know most excited? Of the I, yeah, I'm excited mostly because I know most of the teachers. My, I'm mostly happy because I want to see my third grade teacher. Nice. Good. How about you? I'm excited because I want to meet new people and make new friends. Awesome. All right. Anybody else? Um, anybody have plans for the summer? Just to lighten it up a little, talk about summer coming up. Anybody um, have plans or doing anything this summer? Um, I might go to the beach for a little bit and then probably go home. I'm going to go to summer camp oh, nice. for a week or two. Nice. Very good. I'm, I'm probably going to go to Six Flags and then go camping. That's nice. Fun. Very good. And if you are working? No. No. <laughs> no, no. Take some time. All right. How about you, Jose? What are you doing this summer? Six Flags. Six Flags. I just got a new season pass. Ooh, nice. That's nice. Very good. So our, our sunset the barbecue to pack will be May 31st from 4.30 to 6.30. Uh, we will be hosting it here at Peck. Um, they will enter door one and where they are able to register with a QR code. Uh, our current counselors will be there um, uh, making sure that they uh, register properly, get a wristband, and you know we're going to have, like I said, a lot of um, informative 
um, event and we will also have a nice food truck some raffles we're actually going to be raffling a season pass to six flags um so get them kind of more motivated to be here and uh take advantage of this informative event for all of them Bye. Bye.